famous is uh, in their league debut. Mm. He's quite an absolute quality. Uh, how did you feel about his 90 or 70 minutes? Yeah, very good. Um, a wonderful goal on his uh, debut as well. Um, yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, he started to cramp up a little bit towards the end there. That's why we took him off. There was quite a few of that uh, going on. So maybe it's just the first game of the season, I think. Quite humid out there as well. I think both teams look like they started to cramp up towards the end, so it must have been pretty tough for him. But uh, his performance was good, very good again, and obviously a wonderful goal. Well, I'd say he's putting his hand up to play every week and he's doing a great job at the moment. So, um, yeah, we want him to keep improving. Obviously, if he can bring goals into his game as well, that's that's fantastic from, from midfield. Um, but we want him to dominate, you know, in, in the midfield. And I thought he did that at, in patches today with Bratzi. And, um, and I think second half it showed we, we got a bit tired um, and we were on the back foot. You know, I thought they were the better team in the second half. Probably first half we were, but um, yeah, I think uh, we saw the game out, and which is great. Um, and Steve, obviously, um, Caleb's phone is probably going to blow up for the next 24, 48 hours. Friends, family, you know, easier telling him how well he played and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be fantastic for him. But um, uh, his nickname's obviously Sleepy as well, which suggests he's a, a pretty relaxed character. And so, do you think he's sort of got the temperament to? Yeah, I think obviously we tried to protect him so far because I think after the ACL, everyone wanted to speak to him. But um, he he has got that nickname and he's pretty laid back. And I think nothing really seems to phase him too much. And it showed again today. So I don't think that will will harm him a bit of a uh, bit of praise. He he knows he's doing a good job. He, he, it's the first game of the season, so there's a long way to go. You know, we've got good midfielders as well. He wants to keep his spot, so he just needs to keep doing what he's doing now and, and keep improving and, and um, you know, keep keep ticking us over with uh, with the way he plays. Uh, you know, maybe your, your last few weeks catching up with you. Um, Phoenix came right on you last year there. He must have been the last goal. He dropped off the fair half. Yeah, I, I think, uh, like I said, I thought they were the better team in the second half. We obviously dug deep to, to keep that clean sheet in the second half. They, VAR got the right call. He was offside, so um, that's what it's there for. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought we looked, like I said, we looked a little bit tired in the second half and we, we didn't get out of the second half. So we defended quite well, but, um, you know, blocking a lot of shots and, and balls coming into the box, we cleared quite well. But... Uh, we just wasn't our usual self with the ball in that second half. So, and for me, we looked tired. So that's something I need to look at next week. And obviously, we don't have a game now for two weeks. Uh, against uh, against the Wanderers is our next game. So we need to obviously work hard next week, freshen up for the for the game against the Wanderers. And um, yeah, I think it is. It was a little bit of the first game as well. I think that happens at times. So we're very pleased to get the three points. That's uh, that was the main aim at the end of the day. Well, he'll, he'll have a better chance. Um, you know, we'll play an in-house game next week, uh, which will give him 90 minutes under his belt as well. He's played a couple of in-house games already, which he looks okay. Another one will obviously help him as well, and then um, we'll decide after that. But I thought Benny, Benny was good as well today, and. Wilco's been out for a little bit for the last week, so you know it was good to get him through the game as well. He's just had a bit of a, a tight calf as well, so it's good to get him through the game. Steve, I know it's obviously first game into the season, but has there been talk beforehand about going on to win a, a third successive championship? Yeah, I think um, definitely. Uh, at the start of every season, we want to win trophies and, and if we do win the grand final again it's, it's obviously the three three times in a row which is something we've spoken about um, and we want to achieve because no other club in the A-League has done it so but you know it's it's the same as normal for us we want to try and win the premiership and we want to win the grand final so uh, we have the squad to do it um, you know we have the depth in the squad as well it's just about maintaining our focus and, and our concentration throughout the games and seeing games out and, and you know, playing some good football and breaking teams down with the ball, which we did in the first half, I thought a lot better than the second half.
I think they're going to be a dangerous side again um, once everyone's fit. I think the, the obviously Hammett up front, he, he looked pretty good tonight. Um, you know, the Villa as well coming off off the bench, he gives them a, a big lift as well. So I reckon they'll be going to be similar, similar as last year. They'll be a very good side, uh, very hard to beat. And um, you saw in the second half, they put us under a lot of pressure. So um, yeah, I think we've just done well again.